So today we are here demonstrating SunSwift 7, the car that we worked in partnership with the University of New South Wales, SunSwift Racing Team. And what we're doing here today is demonstrating for the first time the car that we powered with 5G. This is a solar panel car. It's remote driven by on 5G, which means this car can be anywhere in Australia with Optus 5G coverage. And you as a driver can be sitting down in another place, doesn't matter. 10 kilometers, 100 kilometers, 1,000 kilometers distance and still be driving this car. And what we are proving here is the power of our network. In our latest test with this car, we have achieved latency of 50 milliseconds. So for comparison, this is faster than the blink of an eye. That's how fast the response is on this. So what we're doing here in this partnership is to demonstrate the full capacity of Optus 5G network. This is running on 5G standalone, which is a premium type of 5G. And we're demonstrating latency, speed, and capacity. So this is a very innovative use case. They're gonna be powering the technology of the future, but built right here, right now on Optus 5G network. It's been amazing to see the amount of technology that we've been able to put on the car in such a short amount of time. We've been working really, really closely with Optus in such a collaborative relationship. And for us to be able to learn from them and work with them and work with people that are industry leaders has been absolutely phenomenal. I think it's so important for engineers and especially young engineers to have that level of exposure. And I think we're doing great things for women in tech as well. So we've got a really good uh, women representation in the team and we've been able to bring that into our remote drive project project like this I think we've got to consider the education predominantly for the students they're getting involved in technology that ordinarily they wouldn't do within a university so to have these sorts of collaborations these sorts of partnerships are absolutely unique to these guys look I think there's a big education piece to be done largely for, for every consumer within Australia to allow them to understand what technology is available today and what technology could be being introduced into the future. And certainly what we're doing now is future technology, but very much it's displaying what's, a, what's achievable today as well.